What's up guys, today we are going to be talking etiquette on the mountain bike trails um, to keep you guys safe and to keep everybody else safe because it's not all about you. I did not mean to come out so mean. <laughs> it did. But yeah, we're going to be talking about etiquette. You don't like to get yelled at on the trail and you don't like to get other people hurt. Um, these are all things that can keep you safe. Let's get into it. All right, you sad saps. <laughs> Number one is wear a helmet, but that's dumb. We're not even gonna talk about that. We're gonna skip and we're gonna go a little bit higher on the etiquette level. Uh, number one, kind of goes without saying, but ride within your limits. You don't wanna be riding down one of these gnarly black trails and you're a Jerry. You're a green rider that just got into it. There are those trails for you everywhere. So you wanna stay on those trails until you can work up to your way to riding the mustard tigers of the world. Whoa! I'm very in tune with myself. I'm just a green trail rider. I can't handle this. Don't be afraid because it goes conversely because if you're um, an all pro downhill racer or you're just, you know, your local shredder, try to stay away from those really easy trails. Those really aren't for you. Uh, you don't want to get people hurt. They're trying to learn. You're trying to rip. So just, you know, stay your guys' separate ways. That's where what blue trails are for, for those mixings, right? Ride within your limits. Don't do anything that you can't do. Don't ride trails you shouldn't be on. And don't listen to your dumb friends, because they're dumb. <laughs> the next one is the classic pre-ride, re-ride, and free ride. This keeps you safe. This keeps your friends from getting videos and putting them on pink bike. And this makes, well, unless you want to get famous on pink bike, but damn it that's a good that's a good reason to do that <laughs> this keeps you safe this uh this lets you enjoy the trail more and this really helps you to progress on larger features um, that maybe are a little bit scarier than your average two foot drop what to do when you pre-ride you roll up to the the uh, said feature you'd be like stop You'd uh, gauge the speed. You ask maybe somebody that's a little more experienced if that was the right line, right speed. Uh, and then you re-ride that. You got this, man. Now come back and do it with some more confidence. Roll up to it again. Re-ride, you would uh, do it again with maybe a little more confidence, just getting ready, getting that speed all gauged, no hesitation. That's it, that's the speed. That's the line and you just wanna like, whoop bam right down it, you know what I'm saying? Then free ride it, you just rip it, you hit it as fast as you're supposed to. <laughs> Not as fast as you can. All right, come on, man, this system works. And uh, you just do it really well. And then I would suggest even maybe walking back up and hitting it uh, another time just to really put that stamp of approval on it so you know that you've got that feature in the bag. So this is a little bit of a controversial topic. Did I say that right? Anyways, that C word, oh. Here at Mountain Movement, we always say yield to downhillers. So um, if you are on a multi-directional trail, which is common, we say yield to downhillers because one, it's a lot harder to stop when you're going fast. And if you're going uphill, you obviously are going uphill to go downhill. So those people have already made their awful descent or awful ascent and um, are rewarding their awesome trek up with downhill. So let them get that full effect. Dude, what? What are you doing? Coming down. This is a return trail. Nope. So just pull over if you're going uphill. That's how we say it. Uh, some people disagree, but they're wrong. So uh, that's all that matters. But yeah, yield to downhillers. It just keeps everybody safe. It's a little harder for me to stop when I'm going downhill. Yeah, and it's a little easier when you're kind of going slowly uphill to just pull off to the side. Not that big of a deal, guys. Those are just for multi-directional trails, so it's not always an issue, but moving on. The next etiquette tip is don't stand on or the backside of Features, kind of goes without saying, but uh, you never know who's coming down next. And if you're standing or sitting on a feature and they're ripping through and... Uh, oh, poor little snail, I gotta pick him off the trail. Uh, there's just a load of bad accidents that could happen. So if you are looking at a, a feature, maybe sizing it up 
or just gauging some speed. Just always be conscious that other people have done it before, so just be conscious of that. So if you are sizing it up, usually set your bike off to the side and just walk and look at it. Just be conscious though, people will be coming through here and hitting it, and you don't want to get hit and then trying to hit it. It's like a 9,000 pound lock, golly. The last etiquette tip is always help out other riders. Uh, it kind of goes without saying again, but like if somebody's on the trail hurt, obviously help them. If they have a flat tire, give them a tube if you've got them, or just give them a nice fist bump and be like, I've been there, man, and then ride off. You good? I'm all right. Sir? Mister? Just always help out other riders. Uh, we all love mountain biking, so just uh, just always help other riders. Just be kind to one another. We all love mountain biking, um, and we're all out here for the fun of it. So just always help somebody out if they're not having the best day, um, or maybe they've wadded their bike up into a million pieces and need those million pieces put back together. These are five tips um, for etiquette out on the trails to keep you and others safe, and just make sure everybody has a great time and nobody gets hurt. Um, so thanks for watching guys. Please leave a like, comment below if you disagree uh, or you agree. Also, you can comment below some video ideas. We're always open to maybe doing them. And then, uh, yeah, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Howler Bike Park, Mountain Movement, follow both for both the same thing. So yeah, appreciate it guys. Peace.